Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, um, Engineer Singko from CLNP. Hey, uh, to this vlog guys, I will share you how to solve uh, cone geometry under solid mensurations, okay? And uh, if you are first time in my channel, kindly like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the button bell so that you will be not notified for our some videos, okay? Uh, to proceed further, uh, on how to solve the volume and uh, surface area of a cone uh, after this uh, introduction. Okay, see you. So here we go again, guys. Um, I want to discuss regarding this uh, cone uh, geometry. Okay, so first I will show you uh, first property or the equation for how to solve the volume of a cone. Okay, so volume of a cone. Okay, let me solve volume. Volume of a cone. Okay, is equal to one third area of the base times the altitude or height. Okay. This one, guys, okay, take notice. This is the volume for a right circular cone. Okay. And the other one is how to solve the uh, surface area or the lateral surface area of a cone. Okay. Lateral surface. area of a cone okay is equal to circumference okay is equal to the circumference of the base okay times the slant height okay this one l okay divided by 2 okay circumference times the Lateral length over 2. Okay. So, take note guys. Uh, uh, lateral area of a circular cone. Okay. So, as you can see here, we have already the two standard equation on how to solve the volume and the lateral surface of a cone geometry. Okay. Where... A, B, okay, is equal to v, base area, okay, H is equal to altitude or height or vertical height, okay, so E, A, L, it's called the lateral surface area. Okay. In any units, uh, either square inches, square centimeter, square millimeter, square foot, or square meter, and so on. Okay. And C is called the circumference of the base. Okay. Circumference. As we know from a uh, circle, okay, as we studied before regarding uh, properties of a circle, this is a C is circumference. Okay, so what is the equation for the circumference, guys, of a circle? Circumference is equal to 2 phi r, okay, 2 phi r, mean r means radius, okay, this one, guys, r means the radius of a circle, or in terms of d is diameter okay or also equal to phi times the diameter okay phi d okay the next is the l l guys is the this one slant slant height okay slant height 
Okay. So, these are the two basic equations on how to solve volume and uh, lateral surface of a circular cone. Okay. Uh, to understand further, I uh, will give you some more example problems related to this uh, geometry on how to solve the volume of a right circular cone, okay? including the surface area. Okay? One minute later. Okay, guys, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I have very example uh, problem related to the cone geometry okay as you can see in the board I, it's problem states that calculate the lateral surface area and the volume of a right circular cone as per figure below okay so you have uh, i have here the diagram guys for the circular cone or a right circular cone which is uh, given here the diameter d means the diameter of the cone diameter of the base which is equal to 12 inches okay and the vertical height of the cone is equal to 20 inches. So, find, okay. First requirement is the lateral surface area, okay. AL. And then the second one, the volume, okay, of a cone. Okay, guys. So, solution. Take note guys, in order to solve the lateral surface of a circular cone, since the given values is only the diameter and the vertical height, we need to find first the lateral length, okay? L. Okay. Why L? Because the equation for solving for the lateral area, okay? A, solving for... Uh, la lateral area okay? lateral surface area is equal to AL is equal to circumference times the slant height over 2 as you can see, guys, we have all stud studied earlier regarding the uh, equation of the lateral surface area of a circular cone is equal to the product of the circumference of the base times the slant height over 2 or 1 half, okay? Since we don't have the lateral length, then we need to find first in order to calculate the surface area. So, guys, considering this cone, okay? Considering this cone, a uh, right triangle, okay, considering a uh, right triangle, okay, L, how much the height? 20 inches. Okay. Uh, how much this one? Base. One half of diameter. Okay. So, 12 divided by 2, 6 inches. Okay. So, how you will find the value of the slant height? See, take note, guys. It is a right triangle. Okay. As we started before, we can find the value of length by applying the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so applying the Pythagorean, okay, or Pythagoras or Pythagorean. L okay L squared is equal to altitude times the base okay Al uh, altitude is squared plus the base okay 
So, L will be to, square root of, what is the altitude? 20 inches, okay? To the squared plus the base is 6 inches, okay? Squared. So, calculate guys, the length will be equal to, uh, allow me to use the calculator, okay? 20 to the exponent 2 or 20 squared plus 16, uh, 6 squared okay. is equal to 436. Okay. So, square root of 436. Okay. Square root of 436. 36 is equal to how much guys? 20.88 is equal to 20.88 okay? 20.88 um, inches okay? our, our unit is in terms of inches so now we have already calculated the slant height. Now we can find already the lateral surface area of a cone. Okay, so let me continue somewhere here, guys. There, uh, okay. Then lateral surface area of the cone is equal to how much the circumference? Circumference of the base is equal to phi times the diameter. Because the given here is in terms of diameter, which is equal to 12 inches, okay? So, circumference will be pi times the diameter, which is equal to 12 inches, okay? Okay, times, what is the slant height? 20.88, okay? 20.88. Divided by 2. So, therefore, the lateral area is equal to 2. Okay, let me calculate, guys. Okay, pi times 12. Okay, times 20.88 is equal to 787 divided by 2. Okay. So, uh, lateral surface area is equal to um, 393.58 square inches. Okay. So, this is the answer for the first requirement. This is the area of the lateral surface area bakon. Okay. So, alright guys, again, let me calculate, pi, 3.1416 times 12, times 20.88, equals, divided by 2, so it's 393, okay, so 20 squared, 436, square root of 436, is equal to 20.88, okay guys, so, the next requirement is find the volume of the circular cone, okay? So, B, solving for the volume, okay? Solving for the volume of the cone. So, volume is equal to <clears throat> one-third the area of the base okay, times the altitude. Okay. So, substitute guys. What is the area of the base? Okay. Area of the base of the cone, it will be, it's in terms of diameter. So, it is equal to pi 
d squared over 4 okay, times the height. Okay. Divided by 3. Okay. So, substituting the values. Okay. Pi times, how much is the diameter? 12 inches. Okay. Squared. Divided by 4. Times, how much the height? Height here, guys, is 20 inches. Okay. Divided by 3. So, volume will be equal to, let me calculate guys, uh, area of the base times the height, okay, divided by 3. So, in terms of diameter, so pi d squared over 4, what is the diameter? 12 inches. 12 inches into squared, okay, times pi, okay, divided by 4. Okay. times 20 equals divided by 3. So, there are 753.98 cubic inches. So, this is the volume of the circular cone as per this uh, particular problem. Okay. So, guys, let me check, double check. Uh, pi 12 squared times 3.1416 equals divided by 4 equals times 20. Okay, divided by 3. So, there are 753.98 cubic inches uh, volume of this particular cone. Okay, guys, I hope uh, you understand our uh, example problem related to this uh, cone geometry on how to solve the area and the volume of the circular cone. Okay, guys, so kindly like, share, and don't forget to subscribe our video so that you will be notified for our uh, future coming uh, samples regarding a uh, solid mensuration. So again guys, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.